Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In today's video, we're going to discuss about the interview questions that were asked in Excel company. But before we do that, let us thank our subscriber who has shared us this questions and his experience so that it can help others who are preparing for interviews. So thank you, dear subscriber, and let us get started. So the company name you can see on the screen and it was for five years of experience and the questions are a little challenging here. All of them are, you know, scenario based questions here. So let us start with the first one. So write a calculation to get how many days left in a month. Okay. So if you take first rest of the month is having 30, it should be given 29 days in the dashboard. So, so it is something like this. Okay. So for this, I'm trying to, you know, do it in two ways or I'll show you two ways. One is finding out in you know, a total number of days in a month. Okay. So this can also be one of the effective calculations that you can, you know, use it in your project to find total number of days in a month. Suppose if you're working something like that. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to put my view with year and month level. Now, if at all, I want to find total uh, number of days that I have total number of days in a month we can simply do that using a date difference function okay but first what do, what we need we need so i'm just trying to use a fixed load uh, function at a year level and at a month level okay but what i want to do is for this i want to find date difference here okay date difference of what do we need? We need day part. Okay. Of what? Of we need minimum of order date and max of order date. Simple. Okay. So I'm closing my calculation here. So what did we when? Okay. Yeah, maybe one more closing operator here. Now click on apply and okay. And if I try to bring this on to my view, it should give me total number of days. But challenge with respect to order date is because we do not have all the dates in this order date field it is not showing as the correct account but still it will give you it can give you the total count okay so that is one approach but now the challenge here is with respect to today so we need remaining days right so suppose we are now in 18th august now we want to find out the remaining days that are there so for that again it is uh, first we need to find out let us go step by step. So first, what I've done is I've created a calculation here. And uh, where is that? So first, I'm trying to do what I'm trying to do is let us execute this step by step so that you can understand here. So I'm just trying to comment everything here. Okay, and I'm just writing date trunk of month of today. Okay, now let us see what this will give. I'll just try to you know put this on into my view, and I'll just take exact date so that we understand. Now, what did we get? We got first day of the month. Right, because that is what a day truncate will do. It is truncating to the first day of the month. But now what do we need? We need uh, to find out date difference between today and last day. So the challenge here is we need to find out how many days completed in a month. So how can we get that? Suppose if we are in 18th, what does it mean? 18 days we have completed, right? So for that, today is our reference thing that we need to understand, okay? So for our date difference calculation that we are trying to do, today is one uh, 
field from which we will take one date and we also need to find out the last day of the month so that we can subtract that. So for all that, we are using this calculation. Now what I'm doing is I'm just doing going to one month ahead. Okay, so August, right? So it is giving us August to first now. I'll add one month to this so that it will it will go one month ahead. So date add of month part of one I'm writing, but I'm closing the date below here. Bracket, I'm closing it here. Brackets are very important. What did we miss? Expected closing. Okay, so here comma. Click on apply. Now it went one month ahead, right? So now which means what? We are in September 1st. But if I do a minus one from here, it will come back to last day of the previous month. Agreed? Okay, if I do a minus one from here, it will go back to previous month and the last day. So that is what doing I So what is the date part that we need to you know, separate day part, okay? So these three things you need to work together, okay? So you need to think logically, how can I go there? and then use functions to get that. So first thing, using date trunk at a month level to get the first day of the current month, then add one month so that you can go to next month and then subtract one day so that you can come back to last day of the current month. So minus one I'm doing and then, so for this entire thing, whatever is there, I am closing the bracket here apply now what is it we got last day of the current month we got right perfect so now what do we need we need to find out remaining things right so for that anyhow we are using date difference so this part we are clear so i'm using date diff okay so what is the date part date part i am day i'm using so what is the date today so from this we will get 18 right but from this calculation, comma have entered, which means from this entire calculation, what is that we'll get? We'll get last day of the month. So if I, again, if I try to close the bracket at the end, you got the result. Okay, so that is how you need to calculate this. So execute it step by step so that you can understand and you can never forget the logic. Building logic or construction logic is very important in such type of scenarios. Okay, unless and until you execute it step by step, you might, get errors okay i hope you have liked this if it does do share your feedback or comment in the comment section so now let us go to the next equation here again so i have 50 filters in my dashboard i have applied all of them i need to reset in a single click okay very important and very useful options in real time many times you know we you know implement this because we will have a specific request from the client to reset or to have a apply button in dashboard so for that what i'm doing is i have created a dashboard like you can see on my screen and like say i'm just selecting few okay so few filters here just to show you apply and here also i'm just taking randomly few dashboards i'm taking few metrics i'm taking now this is how it is looking here okay now what i want is i want to apply a reset button just click on if I click on reset but filter, we got all the values back. So that is how we can, you know, fix here. Okay. So now again to show this, what I'm doing is uh, just removing this, whatever I have added. And uh, so all you need to do is create a worksheet okay create a new worksheet with a reset filter as a text okay so i've just created a dummy field okay called as reset filter and i've just written reset filter in this okay and add to that label so this will act as a button for us okay now go to your dashboard and add this filter to your dashboard you got it right so remove that so now this should act as a button right so using actions we are going to do that so i'm going to dashboard go actions okay add action filter action i'm trying to add okay click okay now what do i need to do i need to click on my reset filter option so i'll just select only that field from my source sheet 
okay and within the target i want except this reset filter i want everything to be reflected okay here your source is reset button but your target is all the worksheets here okay how do we want to run the action on a select okay maybe single select i will do but show all values here that is what you need to select okay so after that maybe you can here you can write all the fields that you have used in the dashboard so we have used the region we have used a subcategory and we have used year of order date so three fields that i have added i'm just adding it in the uh, selected fields click ok so maybe you can try using our fields also and let me know how if that works click ok and i'm just clicking on ok now we have done now let us check i'm just trying to apply apply and uh, apply so now we got only selected data here if you see but if i click on this reset button we got all the values so that is how this reset button works okay i hope again this has helped you, you know give you a share your valuable feedback so that it can you know know others as well so how to improve performance of dashboard if you if it is using a large data set, user don't want to reduce the data set size. Okay, so we can go with the extracts. That is one way we can optimize the dashboard view that you have created. Okay, so that is another break down your dashboard into multiple uh, parts. Try to remove the unwanted worksheets from here. Like say, you know, if you consider this, we have sheet one and sheet two are not required for us right only this three and this four are required and maybe this this is also not required so you have to remove like that you have to remove uh, unwanted calculations that you have created here for your testing purpose so this is something that you can do try to create integer calculations try to create integer type parameters and in latest versions of tableau we have you know, uh, optimization option also in server. You can check that. It will give you, you know, a feedback on the dashboard that is there. And it, based on that, you can take actions. Okay. So that is one thing. And how to do download data in CSV format. Again, here we have option to download the data that you can use. Maybe in dashboard, if I go and download option, if I try to put it here, I can download it. So in what about the format? we need export to image format i can do or cross csv okay click on apply and okay so if i click on this it should we should be able to download this okay so this is one way where you can So this will work in the server. Okay, so this is one way you can solve that. So again, next is write a SQL query to find out third highest salary. Okay, so this is an important question. So let us try to write one generic question that you can use to solve your N days, five days, three days, or third you know, rank or fourth rank and all. So for that, simply what we can do is using rank function, we can try to do. So what I'm doing is we will use uh, a dense rank function here and I'm writing select, select, select ename, comma, salary, comma, rank we want to find out, right? So dense, dense rank, okay, over. order by cell and I'm sorting it by descending and I'm naming this as rank number on which table from EMP table, right? So this is our base query now, or this is our inner query, right? Now on top of this, I want to write a query, right? So select select star from I'm opening my bracket here and I'll pass my inner query to this as 
inner query okay and i'm calling where rank number is equal to three simply okay so, so you can use this to get whatever the rank you need so you need at a, a fifth rank sixth rank second rank and all whatever you need you can just mention the number here you should get it okay so this is how you can solve this so i hope you have learned something new in this video if it does don't forget to share your valuable feedback see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day